Well, we've seen the terrible toll that COVID-19 has taken in Pennsylvania by claiming more than 1600 lives to date. But amid the tragedies are stories of great survival. Now, one of those is a northeastern Pennsylvania man who Eyewitness News spoke with last month, days after his COVID-19 diagnosis. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Killer is live in Wilkesbury tonight with an update on that man. Mark? Nick, that survivor told us at the time he never thought he'd get COVID-19 because he considered himself a healthy guy who wasn't part of that age group considered most at risk. Now healthy again, he shared his story of survival with me today. The mental stress that this thing causes was like, I can't even explain it. 44-year-old Ryan Fenton has a newfound appreciation for his health after his personal battle with COVID-19. I didn't get it nearly as bad as so many other people did. That were, I didn't have to go to the hospital. I was able to self-quarantine at home in my basement away from the family. But the symptoms weren't fun. Fenton suffered from what he calls the worst headache of his life and a fever that wouldn't quit for seven straight days. During his two weeks in self-quarantine, this Clark Summit insurance agent was aware of the surging global pandemic numbers. Some of the reports of, of the stuff going on in New York City and people dying left and right, and I'm like, I have this thing. And so then when the fevers are relentless day in and day out, and you're like, am I not beating this thing? What's going but on? he conquered the novel stopped. coronavirus, and his wife and children emerged from self-quarantine unscathed. Now it's been a month, and, you know, according to the CDC, I'm not contagious, and they're clear. So, uh, yeah, we're glad to be back to on the other side of this, that's for sure. Fenton now wants to help others who are struggling to recover from COVID-19. He is scheduled to donate his blood plasma next week. Researchers say antibodies in the plasma of those who've recovered from COVID-19 may benefit other patients. We're live this hour in Wilkesbury. Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. So glad he's okay. Mark, thank you. And by the way, Fenton is also a very good musician. He will be talking about how music helped to motivate him both during and after his recovery coming up on Eyewitness News at 6.